Alright, welcome back everybody. So in today's video I have a generic version of the best um, lock system. They make not just padlocks, they make more to cylinders. And I thought I had bid on a, a brand name, best mortise cylinder on eBay. And when I won it, I realized I had bid on the wrong one. So it's best compatible. I can use actual brand best cores in it, but doesn't matter. Um, it's identical to a best. It's the, it's a, an exact clone, just like any other generic lock would be. Um, operates the same with a control key and an operating key. And for those of you who don't know, best has that operating key, which... You know, people would use to open the lock, and then if the system ever got compromised, instead of completely buying new housing units and all that, somebody, the one person who would have the control key would either, you know, if it's a locksmith, he would come out, take all the old cores out, and then put brand new cores in that are operated by new control keys and new operating keys and hand them out to everybody. That's pretty much the gist of it. Um, these locks are moderately difficult to pick. Um, they typically come in six and seven pins, but they do not contain security pins. So that gives you a little bit of a you know an advantage, but they are made to better tolerances too. So I mean, I've had locks with no security pins that are you know difficult to pick just because of how precision they're made and all that, and the tolerances are really tight. Um, so six, seven pins, no security pins. But the nice thing too is because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. So I had the best padlock out just to have it in the background um, I've already picked that for my purple belt and that's another thing um, even though it doesn't have security pins they are more difficult to single pin pick um, this is the general consensus but if you follow reddit's uh, lock picking system the the white belt yellow belt you know the karate belts I couldn't think of the word um, this is actually one of the locks that's on the purple belt list that you can choose to pick you know two from and I happen to pick that one and then my multi lock junior to get my purple belt so that kind of gives you an idea of what, you know, the general consensus really is as far as um, difficulty of the lock to, to pick open. So just in case you're not familiar with these locks, um, and my camera will focus. It's a little blurry. There we go. So that's the keyway. Um, Best makes a lot of different keyways that are like usually numbered, or not numbered, with letters like E, M, I don't know how far the range goes, but there's a lot, there's quite a few of them. I know J's one of them. Um, so, it's not that hard of a keyway, but it can, you know, it could be a pain in the butt sometimes, and I guess depending on which keyway you get also. Um, so, here is our operating key, and I'm, I need to show both of these because if you don't know, there there's two keys that come with it, like I said, and let me get this thing focused. So here's our operating key. And like I said, this one's only six pins. That padlock I had picked before was seven pins. Um, so the bidding's really not too challenging, but the, like I said, these are made to higher tolerances. Um, so this is the operating key that just operates the lock as it would normally. Um, get the damn thing out. And then you got your control key, which if your system was compromised, this is how you would take the core out and just replace it with a new core. But if you notice, look at the bidding. It's completely, it's not completely different, but it's different than the uh, operating key. So what that does though, is, it, it's like a, when a key, you know, when you're dealing with a lock that's master keyed, there's those master pins in there. So, you know, you can use two different keys with two different biddings. Um, and it, it, it's like that. It, it's not like there's a second shear line in there, but it's like a, you got two chances, you know, you, you can pick it to two different, the pins to two different heights to get it to open, just like if a lock was master key. Um, because those master pins act as driver pins, obviously, and it would create, you know, different, I don't know what the exact word is, but, you know, it gives you different heights to play with, uh, is the best way I can think of to describe it. So, because two different biddings open the same key, then obviously there's something in there that allows it to to do that but there is not an actual second shear line it's only one shear line that can be open with two different combinations basically that's exactly what it is um so if we can find one of those two combinations of pins if we put them in the right place in the lock then we'll get it open and, and we'll either get it open to control so we can either pick it like i actually did when i picked that seven pin for my purple belt i had 
picked it to control and I was able to remove the core and they count that as a, a pick or you'll get it picked and it'll just open the you know the an actual open so let's see which one we can't get here um whew. I'm tired man and now another thing is I will not be able to get this because that's another thing with your purple belt um, you won't have to get these because you need a special tool um, they're not like regular cylinders and you can ruin it um, and I'm not going to take the chance of ruining it I have no way I don't even know how to get into these things I never never came across a special tool that you need so I have no desire to, to mess with it that would just be money wasted um, so it's six pins so let's just see if we can't get this thing picked real quick and get this video uploaded for you guys. All right. Um, I know a lot of people like to use top of the keyway tension. I prefer bottom on these locks. Uh, I, I just don't know what it is, um, why, but that's what I like to use. So. So be it. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take my standard hook and go in here and see if I can't get this thing open. Huh. Okay, now we got it picked. Now I don't know if we got it picked to control <laughs> or operating, but let's see. We'll take it out the vise. Let's go ahead and back it up because the cam in the back probably got stuck. So. Um, make sure we zoom out. And, let's see, let's get a focus. And if we can turn it all the way, then it's to operating. And that's what it is. So we picked it to operator, and you can see the cam in the back. If we had picked it to control, it would literally just be at an angle. Or not even that steep. It would probably be like that. It, it would almost be like you barely turned it. So, that's it. Um, they're usually not that simple to pick. Um, light tension doesn't have to be too heavy. And if you saw that bidding, it's really not that difficult sometimes. So, so yeah. Alright, that's it. That's the uh, best compatible 6-pin mortise cylinder. That's the generic version anyway. Um, wasn't the greatest video, but it's another lock pick and another video up, and I got plenty more stuff to work on. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the support. Still need to hear from two of the winners, so maybe I'll have to contact them to let them know and get all those mailed out. And I don't know when I'm gonna let the next giveaway go. It ain't gonna be that long, cause I have a lot of stuff that you know I don't need, and it's just taking up space. And before it gets lost and broken, you know all these locks that I keep buying, you know. So. I'll let you guys know in a little while. Maybe we'll figure out what, what we should do, you know, what, what you guys want the most. But uh, other than that, thank you for the support. Um, I'm going to try and make one more video before I go to bed. I will see you guys next time.